All right, guys, today let's talk about how a whitetail buck's antlers can be determined by what his grandparents ate. Let's get into it. 2015, Eric Michelle was researching deer at Mississippi State University. And through his research, he was showing that deer body size and antler size are determined by what is called epigenetics. So what they did is they took pregnant does from three different soil areas, one with poor soil quality, one with medium, and one with high. And they raised those bucks and their lineage side by side each other in a high fence pen. They fed them all only high quality nutrition and measured the body size and antler differences after three years. Once the nutrition was enhanced for all the bucks, the antlers actually improved, but they weren't fully realized until two generations after. Of course, the bucks from the worst soil quality made the biggest jumps. So epigenetics show us that a buck's parents and grandparents matter a ton to his body size and his antler quality. Big shout out to the National Deer Association, and if you like this kind of content, make sure to give us a follow.